Hey guys, so I feel like I'm filming for the first time in ages and I don't know why, I said my last video was literally last week. Today we're filming a different kind of video. I've never really done a video like this before, but I want to do stuff like this more often because I've been very, very busy this week. Um, I've had a lot on my plate, not been feeling the best, I've got work, blah, 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 all this stuff going on. And there have been so many comebacks happening this week that I've been like, oh, I really wanted to react to that. Oh, I really wanted to react to that. That I thought I'd sit here and just have a bit of a catch up. Watch some of the MVs that have come out this week that I have missed and haven't had the chance to watch yet. So I only picked four that I haven't watched yet um, and that I've been looking forward to seeing. Obviously there have been a lot more comebacks than that. So if there's a song or a group that I don't react to in this video, chances are I've probably already seen the MV. As I said, there are so many comebacks that happened this week, it's hard to keep track of them all, but I've chosen four that I've been really looking forward to, so. Let's go. The first group is The Boys, and recently I've been really getting into The Boys, ever since KCON. I've just been really getting into their music. DDD really reminds me of KCON, and obviously I reacted to that on my channel. And obviously No Air has consistently been one of my favorite songs for the past few like months. So when they had their reveal comeback, I was really excited for it. Boys went for a full on just genre swap concept flip and I'm here for it I'm really excited yeah the boys reveal I've spoken enough and let's get it. Oh, okay I'm not ready for the level of attack I'm gonna be feeling wait a minute stop <sighs> I'm still really bad with the names of the boys though too loud. Ah, oh my god, why can't I get the volume right? Ah, I'm sorry, but Eric's hair reminds me of that one hair setting on The Sims 3. Oh, this is beautiful. They are beautiful. Very enthusiastic. Vix? They have such a good vocal line. Jacob in particular, his voice is stunning. Ooh! You got a little something uh, here. Oh, where's this choreography? Oh, Go on with that back. We stand back. Flexibility. Go off, Kevin. I'm with Ceci too. Drink, drink your water, kids. The boys always have such a good choreography, so. Ooh. These fits as well, that's appreciate. Oh, the, 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 the walk of the look there. Kevin. Stoppy. Speech? Excuse you. What is going on? What happened to the boys that were, you know, dance, dance, dancing? Wait, you got some paint on your feet, on your hands. You're making a mess, bruh. You're making a mess. This song has such a like old school vibe to it. Kind of sounds like New East. That this guy who's singing sounds like Baker. Vocal legend. Ooh. Ooh a bit of a cheeky leather top, you know. Oh, we're going for a little. Ah. That's a nice ending pose. Well, then. I really like that. The song wasn't quite what I expected it to be. Like, I think because it was such a concept swap for them. Um, it definitely had a kind of vibe of like New East and Vix, a kind of older gen vibe, which I really, really like. But it was still very modern, very fresh for them, particularly. It was so weird seeing them be like sexy because. Summertime, they were like does 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 does, and now they're like, you know. But overall, I really like that. The visuals are so good. Their aesthetic, it was a very nice, clean, standard aesthetic. I really, really like that. And choreography, the boys, because I think there are so many members, they're always really used really effectively. The choreographies and formations, their formations are on point. And yeah, I kind of want to check that out live, you know. But all in all, I really, really liked it. It's 
being added to the playlist. So the next group I'm gonna be reacting to is Pentagon and their new comeback, Dr. Bebe. I've seen quite a few things about this comeback. I haven't heard any part of the song, but I've seen the outfits and they did that. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you would know that I really, really loved them 2017, 2018. I really liked Like This and Runaway, and then obviously Shine was an absolute banger, but I haven't really listened to much of their stuff since Naughty Boy. Um, I never really had a bias in Pentagon, but I feel like I, if I had to pick it, it was probably Kino, because I was a really big fan of Mola. Still, I'm a really big fan of Mola. But yes, Pentagon, Dr. Baby. Let's go. They're looking for their Oscars. They're looking for their Oscars. Ooh. I'm kind of scared. Are you really just gonna... Oh, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Misheard. I'm too scared to talk, I feel like intimidated. That's a crop gun. Kino's voice is so sexy. Every time I go to speak, something happens that makes me shut my mouth. Oh. I get the members confused, okay? Wow! This aesthetic is a crop top. The nipples are out. These outfits. with all these boy groups what's going on lip chain crop top this is it this is it cheek cord and this is it again this has got such a vix vibe to it i don't know if i think of like creepy aesthetics i just think of vix but like Maybe I've just went for Vicks. Oh, we love a lift. I'm literally in shock. Wow. Kids and the Oscar, best picture. These outfits, bro. These outfits. Oh my god, is it over? <laughs> Don't, don't just do a concept like that, then hit me with an all white set. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Oh my god, I'm high key intimidated. Stop. Look how tiny they are. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I'm genuinely in shock. All these boy groups seem to be going for such hard and dark and hard, like, hard hitting concepts. It reminds me of like second gen starting to go into third gen, like. K-pop that was around when I got into K-pop like BAP, Vix, like that kind of dark sexy vibe and okay I'll start with the song obviously Pentagon have got such an amazing songwriting team within it he is just a god so obviously the song was amazing very good very powerful um the vocal line amazing rap line insane just nothing's new at this point we know that Pentagon kill it with their own songs um the music video itself was something. Uh, I just feel kind of attacked on every level, not gonna lie, might need a therapist after this. Those outfits, the titties were out. Just very, very, wow. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just, I can't get over that. That was so, not what I was expecting. Just so unbelievably not what I was expecting. I don't have the words to explain how I feel right now. Okay, so the next group we've got is Card and Card, I don't think I've ever reacted to one of their songs on my channel before, but I have listened to them a lot. When they first uh, had their pre-debut like concept, I followed them so much. I love them, Onana, Rumor, all of those songs I loved to pieces. And then when they debuted, I can't remember their debut song was actually. 
I don't know, since then their songs have been kind of hit or miss for me, like I either love it or I really don't. Um, their last comeback was Dumb Litty, which I do actually really like, it really grew on me, so my playlist. I still can't fully really decide if I love it or hate it, like it's just weird, but it's in my playlist, I listen to it a lot. Really good song. And I think Card are really talented, I just love the co-ed element of their group. But this comeback, Red Moon, I fully cannot tell if I'm gonna like or not, like I've watched the teasers, I watched like, the dance highlights because I follow them all on Instagram and I just fully cannot tell if I'm going to like it or not. Genuinely. And Bacard's songs only take a few lessons for me to really, really like it. So maybe that is it. Red Moon. Let's get it. Those concept photos in the cube were amazing. They've got a very Latino vibe around them all the time. Joseph, who let you have your hair slick like that? I don't know how I feel about that hair. She owns me. Oh. Do you know, people always say about how they were scared that the guys were going to get too much attention, but for me, the girls really overpower the guys. I love it. They're so charismatic and powerful. Their choreography is always really good as well. Very difficult. Oh yeah, this is a bit from the teaser. It's very card, I'll give them that. Okay, okay. What is going on with JSAP's hair? Sorry. She looks amazing though. Her hair, the black and the blonde. Kill it! Oh, that's women. Okay. Ooh, we're filming rapping a little bit. Go off. It sounds quite like, um, dare I say, a generic like beat. It's quite a generic song itself, but them, as far as their actual performance, is really good. BM is a really slick rapper too. I forgot to mention, and they do they do improve every time. But you know what I mean? The song's just like quite generic. <laughs> I feel so bad for saying that. Oh, they always have a nice dance break in there though. They do go off in their performances though. Oh, has it already been done? Go off with those visual effects. Okay, like I said, card songs, I definitely have to listen to a couple times before I come up with a final like verdict on how I feel about it. So don't take how I feel about the song now to be how I feel about it full stop. The song itself seemed kind of generic. Like it didn't feel like it went anywhere. Which isn't a bad thing, sometimes like the genre of song they go for tends to be quite, you know, dancey and like clubby I'd say kinda. So it, it will be quite repetitive, but um, besides the actual structure of the song, the beat I found quite kinda generic. But besides that, um, BM and JSF are really good rappers, uh, BM's always improving honestly and I see how hard he works on his Instagram to improve like his physique, his dance, his everything. So uh, you see that coming through, like they really are genuine, like such hard workers and I always see that on their Instagram. The girls went off their little rap bit, they are just so hot. The outfits killed, they looked amazing, their charisma, they are so just like saucy they go off. The music video itself, obviously they are stunning people as well. So every other element, the choreography, I really want to have a proper look at because their choreography is always so intense and so difficult. Like the song I feel like definitely needs to grow on me as of right now. And it can't have a very distinguishable sound that's very, you know, hard hitting um, drops. This song needs to grow on me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We said it, but I love them so much. They are just amazing and hilarious. And JSF got that cake, you know, so. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but I do love them, so remember that. <laughs> the final group I'm going to be reacting to in this video is Cherry Bullet, and I haven't followed Cherry Bullet too closely since their debut. I did react to their debut, I don't know if the video is still up, but Q&A is still a bop. I still listen to it all the time. <laughs> I freaking love that song. But they have had their comeback with Hands Up. Put your hands up. And I'm very excited for this. I've seen a couple clips on Instagram and it looks like they've gone again for a change of concept, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Oh! 
Okay, I like how it's not a complete change because it's still quite cute. It's still very cute, actually. They are very cute. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Oh my god, they're stunning. What the heck? Hi. Wow, they're stunning. There's a girl in Cherry Bullet whose voice I love. Deep voice come through. She is wow, a woman. Wow, 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 wow. They have such a sick concept. They're light stick as well. Wow. Oh, okay. This is the chorus. Oh, okay. It's quite a like you know. It doesn't like go anywhere, but it's like okay. This is such a cool aesthetic as well. This is very well filmed, like very high quality. Who is she? Yo? This is a lot more rap based and like than Q and A for sure. These outfits are cute as heck. So can we just? I want to find out who the girl was. I like the voice of. YOLO 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 This is very... Catchy Yeah the girl I like is the one who did the Hey Boy bit in Q&A These outfits are hella cute I want to see more of his choreography This has definitely got a much lower tone than, the, than Q&A and I'm kind of here for it Best Tootsie, we stand Was it her? Okay, the song again doesn't feel like it goes anywhere. I like the choreography is different though. If the choreography was the same for that last chorus, I would have been like. But it's like I don't know how I feel. It's very. I can't tell if I'm just in love with them, and that's like. <laughs> Those braids are so cute. Ooh. Oh my god, that's such an interesting quote, like, wow, okay. Oh my god, so again, the song was very, like, it was just a low-key bop. It, again, it didn't feel like it really had, like, a peak or, like, a bit where it slowed down necessarily. It didn't feel like there was any dynamics to the song, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Again, sometimes you don't want a song to be all over the place. You just want it to be, like, you know, calm, cool, and collected. But, uh, yeah, I definitely like, sorry, to compare it to their debut, I definitely like Q&A more. I felt like it was a lot cutesier, it had a lot more to it, it went it went somewhere. But for this, um, the song was really cute, that has a really nice drop. Um, it's nice to hear when I'm saying more rap based, it definitely shows versatility and contrast in their music. The music video, very interesting. Again, there wasn't a lot to it, it's very simplistic, very minimal. Cherry Bullet's company, are they with FNC? Yeah. Um, definitely put a lot of money into their stuff. It wasn't as um, kind of high quality and banging as Q&A. Like Q&A you had like the whole holographics with the guns and they were in a video game. This doesn't seem to fully carry on from that last music video very much, which I was quite surprised by. Yeah, I really liked it. I really want to find out who the girl whose voice I like is. I'm gonna find that out. But yeah, super cute. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do, honestly. So yeah, that was my reaction to uh, The Boys, Pentagon, Card and Cherry Bullet. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me what you thought about these MVs. Tell me if there's any MVs that I've missed. I know that I've missed people like Moonbill just dropped something and it was that signature and there are so many groups that have been dropping stuff and doing bits and I just... I can't keep up. I can't do it. But if there are any groups you desperately want me to react to, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do more of these kind of catching up videos if you guys want me to. Depending on how this one goes down, I'll maybe do some more. And yeah, I love you guys. I will, my social media will be in the description box and I will see you in my next video. Bye.